Uh, welcome back, everyone, to an episode of Morocco, where we are, as you know, fighting a war. And I just realized one of the worst things that's ever happened to me. I can't actually get to this unit. It's stuck behind this, whatever this is, and it's really annoying. So I can't actually get to it in any sort of way. Select army, yes, select the army. There we go. Oh my goodness, that makes me so happy. Okay, so yeah, now we can start carpet sieging them and making this a lot quicker of a war. Even though we've been kind of just relaxing on the whole war front. I mean, really, if you've really been looking at it, we've really just been like, Okay, so you guys are sending in more men. Cool, we're going to send in more men ourselves. Okay, you guys are sending in more people. Cool, we're going to send in more people ourselves. Yeah, it's, just, it's just been that kind of war. And really, I don't really mind that. They can, I mean, they're not really going to be much of a threat to us anyways. The natural assimilation, yes! Being peaceful to natives does have its perks. Okay. And we're basically, yeah, we're basically now just carpet sieging the heck out of them. Grain. So now that's making grain. I didn't really expect it to make anything more substantial, so that's not surprising. And over here, we call this guy for a second. Why am I recalling him? Because I kind of want to, I kind of want to start filling this stuff in a little bit faster. It kind of does get a little bit annoying just seeing all this stuff like uh, we can call it diplomat. We don't need to keep maximum relations. So yeah, I'm going to try to start since I have so much money and so much time. I'm going to start trying to fill in all of this uh, unconquest land by us. There we go. Let's see. They have a three. You guys are actually trying to build up an army, aren't you? You try to fight me. It's not going to work. I'm just going to tell you that now. But I'll let you guys hope that you guys can win this. And I'm going to watch the ships get destroyed now. Let's watch this, everyone. And... Oh, that's so sad. That's so sad. Uh, we can still lose some prestige. We're not we're not really losing much prestige right now because of our massive wins. Go down here. Yeah, what were you about to do to my army? I, I think you were about to go attack it for some reason. Well, uh, look at this. There's, there's a magically 12k stack now over here going to go destroy you. How does that make you feel? Yeah, I thought that made you feel like that. Alright, so guys, what are we gonna be- Ah, Okay, so now we got this guy in charge. He's I, quite, di quite different than his father. His father was much more- Was much more of a militaristic genius. He's more of a dip- an, uh, administration, administration genius. So, you know, in, in all honesty, he's not entirely completely the best guy ever, but- all hail the king of, after that long introduction, all hail the king of Zaladin Juan Martinid. That was butchered heavily, but I don't care. Because you know what? This is my empire, and I get to decide how they all sound. And that's how they all sound. Very, very European-like. Yeah, that really does sound wrong, but okay, let's continue this game. So we're going to go destroy the last little bit of armies. And you guys are part of the other, I think you guys are the other group, so... Yeah, okay. And let's see, what do we want out of these guys again? We want land, that's for sure, but what kind of land do we want? Let's see, release nations, we could release Mantua, um, Muntipu, hmm. Who? You know, in the long run, I could probably just Diplo, Diplo release these guys. Well, I could do it on my own turf, you know, Diplo release these guys, and then start feeding them what I need them to have. And, you know what, I don't usually like to do that too much, so, nah, let's not do that, let's just take as much time as we want. Let's take this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what, actually making a sub-vassal state, like, right about here would be pretty nice. And we could probably go down here. Right now it's getting too much, right about there. And, that's for trade power? No. Hmm. Yeah, send demands. Yeah. Okay, so now we got all this new kind of power. I'm gonna go send these guys back to the little protective areas. And what I'm going to do is go to my empire, create vassals. Songhai, Armenian, Hansa, Congo, uh, Montuba. Play as release vassal. New. No. There we go. So now we got Montuba. Montuba as our new. 
has a substatus vessel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell them all these cores right over here so that we don't have to court. They have to court. So let's see. Hey guys, would you guys like some land? <laughs> hmm? Okay, no. Not claim thrown, send gifts, self offense. There we go. Give them um, absolutely no money for this. There we go. Okay. And let's go back to here. We're gonna have to wait a little bit, but next time we have an opportunity to, we're gonna go settle, sell them all these provinces over here. And there we go. We create our own little sub vessel. The only one I think I will actually like core is this one right here to make my life a lot easier in terms of diplo range. But yes, Kilwa has now got a militaristic coalition against us. Oh no, you guys are such a threat to my empire. And by the way, I've been at negative prestige, negative like stability this entire time. I haven't really been paying attention to it. And apparently our brother and need help in that place. Do I help them? Hmm. You know, that is a very good question, but before I answer that, let's get some positive stability going. Wait, wait, wait. Oops, wait, oops. Yeah, get that back. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, just, we're just coining one thing. We're not coining everything. You guys get to stay over here because you guys are really powerful. Okay. Over here, we're doing exactly what I wanted to. We call this diplomat. We're gonna send one over here. Yeah, I'm just. It's it's about time I finally finish up all these little like states right here, which would really be annoying. All right, let's go right here. You guys go right there. Cause right now I, I do have the money to support a lot of like colonies. Like I I definitely have the money to support a lot of colonies. Makes me almost think that one of my leaders had died, but they didn't. Which is I have a really good like economic base. Okay, okay, guys, one second. Okay, guys, I'm back. Decided to quickly talk to my uh, landlord lady slash mom to, to, to get, like, the details about what I need to do. And it was all pretty simple stuff. So now we're back, and I need to decide some couple things, like, ooh, stock exchange. I know exactly where to build that. <laughs> yes, Constantinople. Oh, my goodness, that's going to increase it by so much. Ooh, I can't wait. Oh, it's gonna be, it's good that the Constantinople is gonna be such a nice province once that's all done And yeah, yeah since we have such like insane amount of money We can support so many colonies right now. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing colonies and I think I can now go sell you sell you guys another province. So let's go sell you guys another province uh, Teat there we go Yes, just fattening up my vassal right now my vassal is going to be so good once he's annexed. Okay, in the Battle of Yola. Yeah, let's. They, they really. If they really want to try. If these guys want to really try to vote against me, they can, but it's not going to exactly work. Trust me about it. <laughs> Trust me about that. It's not going to work. Okay, and yeah, there we go. Now we got a good. Got a good semi ish name going, I think. We got a good island name going. I mean, our name is really weird. It's like curved to the right of us and curved to the left of us. It's really quite weird. All right. You guys are going away to stomp them. Good. And let's see. Yeah, okay. Now that we've kind of thought of wars for a little bit, it's now time that I really do start knackering down on technology. Because as you guys know, we aren't, we aren't doing the best right now in terms of technology. So... We're gonna try to do better stuff. Let's get the better relationships over time, guy. That should actually decrease our, decrease us by a little bit in terms of money. But that's fine. We have such like insane amounts of money growth. It doesn't even matter. Okay. All right. Let's see. Is there anyone that's rivaled us right now? Alisin, Kuzinsin. You guys hate us. Serbia. I know you guys would not ever think of us. You guys are supposed to be our allies, but I don't think we actually ever enter in any of your wars, and we. You guys don't enter in any of our wars. We are the best alliance ever. Let's just say that. <laughs> We're the best alliance ever. Sweden is our probably our biggest gain right now. Who are just like all Sweden powerful. They actually could form Scandinavia right now if they really want to. But for some reason they don't want to. Which annoys me. I don't know why the AI never forms any nations in this game. Or I should say rarely does. Huh. You know, is there anyone we actually need to improve relationships with, or need to like start thinking about Diplo annexing? Well, let's see. Whose opinion? How is the opinions? How is the world's opinions of us right now? Uh, kind of shite. So, 
Let's start, let's start dealing with that. Portugal, you guys will be our first friend in a new and better world where we will not be enemies. At least on the surface. I still hate Por I still hate Portugal for all the things it used to do to us before, be before we became this big powerful nation. But, you know, we can act civil to them when they're over at our parties. Still though, I want to destroy them. Okay, and I did realize where Hera is. It's actually a province like right about here, right next to our borders. That's Sunni, and it's being owned by Ethiopia. I'll deal with Ethiopia eventually, but first I have to break the protectorate over the Mamelukes. But before I do that, I have to go with the Omanians. I like with Iraq. Hmm. Yeah. You know, the more and more I think about it, the more and more you guys are just going to get Diplo annexed. <laughs> oh gosh, you guys have like absolutely no power in this at all. Which makes me feel kind of sad to say it, but I'm going to easily destroy you, Oman, once I get the chance. Once I have my army all built up, you guys are going to be destroyed. In fact, let's just do this now, because I already realized this is going to be, like, the best moment of my life. Whoever I was saying, Portugal, we don't care about you. We're just going to be outright enemies to you and to your face. So, let's just gain this province now, because I really want to declare war on them right now. They are completely weak they have no good allies and the only allies they do have is iraq with who i will vassalize and wait let me make sure i have enough uh, room for my vassalization yeah i could probably get one more room get all these guys in it would be better to just annex them outright uh well i don't think i could now that i'm thinking about it, i don't think i could even if i tried to it would just be like boom 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 Maybe, I don't know. Let's just continue, guys. Continue on with our lovely game uh, that we're having today. Regional manpower group. That's pretty cool. Uh, constables. Just finishing out with the constables. We're almost done with the constables, which is happy days for me. I don't want to build too much because I still don't have that much of a good gold mine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course, I'm going to gain that. Oh, you guys. Why did you do that? Why did you do that, Persia? We're not exactly like enemies. Like, you don't say we're enemies. Why did you do that? I, I mean, I, I have like absolutely no hatred towards you. Huh. Okay, so apparently Persia wants to die. <laughs> I, I didn't know they had such a big death wish. Like, seriously, okay, Mantua. I'm also gonna sell you one more province. Let me just get back my Aragonian guys. So you guys, this last little province right here. Plus, then you guys also gain your own shoreline, which would be nice. Let's sell you guys this. Get all the max down. And there we go. So the next time when I get this in here, I just take these three. Or I should say, I just feed my vassal these three provinces. And then... That's a good size vassal right there. That's a really good size chunk of vassal. He's gonna be nice for my action. Near a disputed peace. So 50% chance of revolt risk in Cursia. Uh, offer him some money. Offer him some help. Gain piety. Gain piety. Uh. Eh, you know what? I have the money right now. Let's do that. <laughs> it sounds. It sounds like I should be like more you know, con cognizant of what's happening over there, but I really just don't care. Offering them money seems like the easiest way I don't have to fight too much, so yeah, let's just give them money. Native assimilation! Yay! We have like six different colonies going right- four different colonies going right now, which is amazing. And I love it. Just seeing all these colonies grow right here, and then eventually we're gonna be able to fill in all these little gaps that have been here since the beginning of the game. Oh, it's gonna be so nice. Also, these gaps down here too, but that's a little bit higher base tax, so I'm really gonna have to worry about those. Okay. So, let's go see. Once we get our little, like, warish problem dealt with, I think I'm gonna declare war. You guys are still my ally, right? Yeah, you guys are still my ally. That's good. That's good to note. Because I'm gonna need to, like, destroy all your friends. Apparently, you guys are declaring war on the Mamelukes by yourselves. Who are they allied with right now? Crimea and Fuji. Hmm, not the best alliance I've ever heard of. And my heir is safe, and he's a su successfully great heir. That's a good thing to note. So I do have a great heir coming. I don't want him to, like, 
I don't want him to come in power anytime soon because I have such a monstrous army. Or I should say, I don't want him to come in power because then I can't declare war. So, yeah. I have now all three diplomats, which is kind of weird. Okay, so that means I'm probably ready to go to war with you guys. Let me make sure about this. You guys are only allied with Iraq. Um, station my troops all ready to destroy the Iraqi army. Um, to be honest, I could probably destroy these guys all by myself. But having hedges in there would also kind of make me happy. Plus then I could probably break off some alliances. Sweden, Hungary, Hedges, Persia. Yeah. Just to clear war. Okay, now I've actually gonna join in. Yep. <laughs> uh, even with all that army, they still can't defeat me. Okay, and my vassal's probably going to be a little bit tongue-tied for a little bit. You guys, you guys are going to get into my war just because I know you guys would actually join in. Okay, is that true? Yep, Hajez joined in. So now we have these guys over here going to be joining, helping me siege up all this land. Plus, I also have good military access through them, which does make my life a lot easier. Okay, so let's pause it right here. Go send in a couple. I don't really need to send in all my death stacks. Just send in some of my death stacks. Okay. Uh, go send in this death stack down here, though. That army down there in Yemen is probably going to get closed off or destroyed, but... Eh. It can't really be helped. <laughs> I mean, I really can't help them. I wish I could, but I really can't. Okay, and then you guys go destroy this army right here. Yeah, I mean... It, Iraq's giving me a pretty good fight. I'm not going to deny, but they're just not going to be strong enough to fight me. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now it's time for the long and brutalist siege. Siege. Wait. Sometimes my grammar gets a little bit weird. You know what I mean, guys? It's just like, I know what word I want to say, but it's just like I don't say the right word. You guys siege off. Go over here. Go siege up that land. And, oh, there they are. Uh, let's go destroy them. Opportunistic, of course. If we ever need mercenaries, I'll definitely hire them from that place. Okay. And yeah, there we go. Yeah, we basically destroyed all these guys, and then oh my goodness, yeah. If the hedges takes this part of the Mamluks, I would not be particularly sad about it because it's not like it's my land. I mean, if it was my land, I'd feel pretty like, oh no, they should not do that. But since it's not my land, I don't really care that much. Also, I just remembered something. We can actually switch to a different unit. Am I right? Yes. Oh shoot. Okay, um, I usually, I usually like the Golveston in this time, Creole, Gallup Cavalry, yeah. Okay, everyone retreat just for a second. Oh shoot, yeah, just, just stay there for a second, everyone kind of heal up your own units. Just, just kind of heal up for a little bit, and then once you guys are all right, then I'll go send you guys back in. Yeah, I completely forgot I have like an entirely new unit set I could be using right about now. Oh, that's so nice. Okay. But back to bigger things and better things. Let's get these guys right here so they won't come anymore after my uh, good little vassal who's going to get like so fattened up in this war. I think I'm going to give him like these four, these four provinces. Maybe this five if I can manage it. But just a lot of provinces to give me a good amount of boost. Yeah, you guys start getting me more. Ooh, now we got war galleons and admirals and fleets. Oh, that's so exciting! Oh, that's so exciting! Okay, okay, and then excellent minister. Oh my goodness. Wait. You know, for once, I'm actually going to take this one. I know this is usually the one I usually like to go for, and it's usually the best. But having that 10 army and navy tradition, well, it seriously boosts up a lot of your stats. And plus, I actually have a decent army. Dang, I actually have a decent army tradition right now. Usually, it's really bad, but right now I have a really decent one. And then right here, and navy, and oh my goodness, we have actually a decent army right now. We have definitely been increasing our war, our war hawkish. Oh, I know exactly what he's gonna do. Okay, you guys, you guys right here, select army, detect siege, go back down here. He's gonna try to attack one of these two provinces to see if we're weak. It's, it's not necessarily the smartest move, but I'll just let him think that it's a smart move. Okay, and by the way, over here, do we have this cord already? Yeah, we had that cord, that's why we didn't do anything. And I have an army right here, so if you guys if you guys are gonna try to cross into my land, or into my vassal's land, or into my friend's land, 
all three about the same synonymous word to me, but you guys are going to have to deal with a really, really grouchy army that really knows how to fight. Well, I'll finish this episode as soon as we finish this battle, okay? And it was a slaughter by all accounts, and now I'll thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.